Hello craft team, in this video we shall make this beautiful fascinator in 5 minutes. Let's get crafting. We'll be needing some items for our project. We need our glue gun and candlestick, our scissors, our air clip, HU glue, Fabric, I will be working with this fabric flower. I will put the link up for you to see. Then you cut out a round felt. You see I will get to make use of it. So for the crinoline I'm using today is about 18 inches in length. So you know the crinoline has that part that ash tray that is where I will work with. But for now, I will go ahead to use my UHU glue to seal the edges of the crinoline so it won't fray. I'll do it on both sides, that place you cut off. You just seal it so it won't fray. So I'll go ahead to start pleating my crinoline. You know the crinoline has the part that has thread lining through it. That is the part I'll be pleating. So you just go, if you want your pleats big or small, depending how you want your pleat, you just make your pleat that way. So I'll just make my pleat not too big, not too small. So I'll pleat it from one end to the other end. As you're pleating, make sure you hold it firmly. If not, it will loosen out because I want to hold it down with needle when I'm done pleating. So you just have to hold it firmly so you don't start all over after pleating so depending the how full you want your pleats and your fascinator to be you can increase your length or reduce the length so i used about 18 inches for this fascinator so i'm done pleating i've pleated to the end i'll go in with my needle and thread to stitch it down so i just make sure i catch all the pleats i made so they all stay in place that's the essence of stitching down. I will not advise you to use glue because glue may show because crinoline is transparent. So your glue may show. Use needle and thread. So I'm done stitching down. I'll go ahead and make my knot at the back. Try to secure it firmly. When I'm done with that, then it's time. This fascinator is so quick to make. Then I'll go ahead to place my fabric flower the link will be up here for you to see how to make it so I'll apply glue generously at the back of the fabric flower I'll apply glue generously that is where I will place on the crinoline crinoline so please just make sure you apply your glue all around so it sticks well you don't want your fabric flower or any other flower you want to embellish with to fall off. So I'll go ahead to apply. I use glue because uh, if you use a um, glue gun here, yeah, hot glue, you know, it, it's when it's cold, it becomes sticky and like bulky. So I don't want to use it for up uh, to rest it on the uh, crinoline. So I had to use UHC glue for attaching my flower. So you can go ahead to attach any embellishment. Then this felt, I just cut out any round shape that will fit my uh, flower I made. So you can go ahead to cut the shape to the size of your embellishment. This is where I will now apply my glue, hot glue. My hot glue now for my um, the second round circle I made, I will just go ahead to see the way I'm cutting it. So you see, just like half an inch distance in between you just make a slight cut so your air clip will pass through it that is how you attach your felt your air clip to any fascinator or any other design so i just use my old glue to place on it then attach my air clip use my old glue to put it around and cover it so we are done with our fascinator. This is the outcome. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Follow at Ibis Fine Crafties on Facebook, on Instagram. And click on the subscribe button for more Edward tutorials, fashion, accessory DIYs, more millinery tips. I am Ibiwari. 
this came out so beautiful is looking so lovely don't forget to give us a thumbs up and subscribe put on the notification bell so you'll be notified when new video drops thank you for watching to so we'll meet again in our next video stay safe whatever you think you can create so be creative bye